In this video, I'm going to show you the best defense in Madden NFL 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's YouTube video. Now, if you're brand new to the channel, basically what I want to do is encourage you uh, with what we do here on YouTube. And what we do here on YouTube is we post videos every single day that are designed to help you become a better Madden player. We give you different setups, different strategies, different tactics that you can use to basically improve your game, both on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball in Madden 21 and so if you haven't subscribed yet I want to ask you to go ahead and click that subscribe button research has shown me that over 60 percent of the people that are going to actually consume this video have not subscribed yet to the channel subscribing is completely free for the YouTube channel and it just simply allows you to know whenever we upload new videos which on this channel we upload new videos every single day eight different times in a day so a lot of content for you to digest and a lot of tips to help you get better so if you want to get those tips just subscribe to the channel Okay, guys, so I wanted to break down one of my, you know, I mean, just my my favorite defense in Madden and, um, and, and why it's, and, and I, and I want to give you kind of a, a little bit of a different, a little bit of a different lens um, by which to look at this, at this offense. In particular, I want to talk a little bit about seam routes um, because seam routes do, you know, a lot of people are going to seam routes and spread routes, especially with the new patches and things like that. So I wanted to dive in. And that's just simply the nickel 335 wide. Now, remember really quickly here that I like to audible into the Mike Blitz 3 from the 335 normal. The reason why is because 335 normal is going to be able to put safeties on the field. And so it's going to get you better personnel. So I'm going to go over the personnel here in just a second, as well as how to sub these players in, because I've been getting a lot of questions about that. But essentially what we want to do is we want to hit left trigger at the 335 wide menu. We're going to hit R1 to change our audibles. And then we're going to hit square to put Mike Blitz in that audible slot. Once we do that, we're going to come over here to our 335 normal, and we're going to hit R1 to manually sub in players. And we're going to sub in Zadarius Smith on the left outside linebacker, Kenny Clark at defensive tackle, Preston Smith at the right outside guy. I actually prefer Rashawn Gary. I think it's a little bit faster. And then here we're going to put Kadir Holman. Here on the outside here we're going to put Perry Nickerson. And then we're going to put Josh Jackson here at free safety. And we're going to put Kevin King at strong safety. And then that's going to free us up to put these guys in at linebacker. We're going to put... Um, Will Redman on the left side here, the weak side backer, and then on the right side backer, we're going to put Adrian Amos, and then as our user, we're going to put Darnell Savage, okay? Once you do that, you just hit circle, take it out of the menu, and now you're ready to go. Now, the one other thing that I like to do in this defensive scheme is to put the cover three cloud in my audibles um, so that I can have all kinds of different coverages if I want to play some 335 coverage defense in my defensive scheme. One other thing that I've been doing lately is I've actually been using a lot of nickel normal as well. Uh, I've been using it very similarly to the way you would use the big nickel over G defense. So I've been using, you know, cover four palms. I've been using um, cover three buzz match. I've been using all kinds of different things. Um, one of the one of the defenses I actually really really like is the cover nine. Um, uh, the cover nine defense so you can test all those out for yourself now I actually have a full ebook on this defensive scheme so if you want to get the full ebook the link is in the description of this video and if you want to get a free sample video that kind of gives you a little bit of an overview of how to run the defense and kind of some of the nuts and bolts of it um, I have that in my text message membership which if you don't know what that is my text message membership is a completely free thing that I do for my Madden community and basically what it is is every single day or not every single day every single week I send um, basically a text message to you that includes a new video and it includes a new scheme whether it be on the offensive side of the ball or the defensive side of the ball and shares you literally the entirety of a scheme so we've broken down the 335 wide the big nickel over G the gun bunch offset all kinds of stuff so if you haven't picked it up yet all you have to do to sign up for it is just text me my phone number is in the top left hand corner of your screen Okay, guys, so you're going to come out and cover four drop, and really from there, um, you're going to almost always audible into Mike Blitz 3, unless you have, you know, a specific reason as to why you would not do it. And I wanted to show you a setup that I really like against gun spread. I haven't talked about gun spread, but I've been getting a lot of questions about different people that have been, been having some trouble stopping the seams, and I wanted to share with you just a little tip that I like to use if somebody's running a lot of seam routes on me. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to shift my defensive line to the running back side, just like we always do. I'm going to crash my line out, and then I'm going to bluff blitz the defensive end on the same side as the running back. In this scenario, it's Zadarius Smith. 
And then these linebackers here um, that are safeties, Redman and Amos, they are kind of hybrid players. You can do all kinds of things with these guys. Um, and really what I like to do is I like to use these guys in man-to-man -man coverage against the slots, especially in a spread type of field because this is going to keep them from throwing those seam routes. What you'll notice here is one of the things that spread does a really, really good job of is you can basically you know, inside pass lead these streaks, and if you have good click-on ability, you're going to be able to click onto those streaks and basically use or catch them up the seam. So what I like to do is instead of allowing them to do that, what I'll, all I'm simply going to do is I'm just going to man up my slots. That's it. Just manning these guys up. Nothing more than that. And then essentially we're in the same coverage, right? We have our cover, our cover three shell, and our responsibility is really the same. We're going to go to the right, and we're going to go right into the middle here, and we see something here that we can check down. Now obviously they have the little underneath flats and stuff, but they you know those are flats to the outside receivers which most people don't really run that um, to be quite honest with you but what this does is it allows me to you know really be able to take away um, one of the most popular plays from the spread as you can see here because these safeties have good man coverage they're actually going to intercept um, those seam routes now you might be saying well that's good but you can't send pressure out of it so how do you send pressure out of it well there's another setup that I have that is more of a pressure version of it and this is when you really want to dial up the pressure against spread this is one of the best blitzes in the entire game so all you're going to do is you're simply going to spread your shift your line to the left crash your line out you're going to press coverage and then from there you're going to man up your safety and your slot corner just like this on the slots and then what I like to do on the outside is I like to play soft squats. And I find this defense is actually really, really good. Um, and I mean like really, really good with this. And literally all you're going to do with the step of the ball is you're going to run down and basically come to the right. And as you can see here, you're going to get pretty good pressure at your opponent um, just by using this one little tactic. Now, again, if you don't feel comfortable um, just leaving soft squats on the field, I completely understand that. And I just want to encourage you. To just go ahead and sit in the cover three. It's okay. We're going to give up the flats to the outside players, but that's literally all they're going to get. And again, you're going to see here, we're going to get instant pressure at the quarterback. So it's really going to be a, a cat and mouse game. You're going to be covering the flats, covering the flats, covering the flats. And then the next thing that they know, they can't throw to the flats and they can't throw to the seams. So you're going to have really, really good coverage. So I just wanted to give you one little example of my nickel 335 wide and how adaptable and adjustable it really is, not only against trip sets and bunch sets and meta sets, but also against spread sets and non-meta uh, type of stuff as well. So if you want to pick up the full defensive ebook, um, in my opinion, this is one of the, I mean, this is probably the best defense that I've ever written. And the biggest reason as to why that is the case is just because it's super simple it's easy to use um, it's easy to understand it's easy to apply and that's what I think makes it super super good we have this is the same blitz you can you see here I can run right through the a gap with my guy and get instant pressure if they're sending everybody out we teach you how to do all of that stuff in the ebook so go ahead and pick it up the link is in the description it's the best defense in the entire game right now every Madden pro that I have seen is at least running some version of the 335 wide, if not the exact version that I just shared with you. A lot of people think that this is the best defense in the game. I certainly do, and I've been talking about this since June. So we've been having a lot of reps in this defense, and I believe it's still the best defense in Madden. So if you want to pick it up, the link is in the description, and if you want to get a free sample of the defense, go ahead and shoot me a text message. My number is 812 216-3644. I want to encourage you to come by and hang out on tonight's live stream at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. I'll be running this defense. You'll be able to ask me questions and kind of see how I adjust in a real game. My uh, stream will be starting at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, so we'd love to see you at the stream. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you have any questions at all, feel free to shoot me a text message. Again, my number is 812-216-3644. It's also in the description. And just a quick reminder, if you want to get the ebook, the full defense, that is in the description. It's on sale right now just for 15 bucks. You can get the best defense in the entire game.